greet you all in the highly exalted, wonderful, precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Welcome to the book of Romans, turning our Bibles to Romans chapter 14 and verse 1. Accept him whose faith is weak without passing judgment on disputable matters. This shows that there will be a variety of believers who are just newborn believers, those who have uh, been born again for a very long time yet have not grown, those who frequently fall back, those who grow very fast, those who are steady. There are various kinds of believers in the house of the Lord. And so we need to be able to accommodate everybody by the love of Christ. Many a times uh, it is so selfish and it is so self-judgmental that we evade and we reject those who have different opinions and those who think differently, who walk differently from us. And that's why Apostle Paul uses these two terms, weak faith, disputable matters. Now, when, it, when he's talking about weak faith, he's talking about those people who have reserved uh, certain qualifications or those people who are uh, very uh, narrow in their uh, way of thinking. And then he talks about disputable matters. So there are certain essentials of faith and there are certain non-essentials. And we see that this spectrum is very important, that there are certain essentials where every Christian has to subscribe to, every Christian has to agree to them. And there are certain things that we can have liberty. And that's why uh, men of God generally say in essentials, unity, in non-essentials, liberty, but in everything, charity, or in everything, love. So just because somebody thinks differently in non-essentials, we have no right to reject them. And we need to recognize the essentials of Christian faith. The essentials of uh, Christian doctrine are the deity of Christ, the atonement, the sufficient atonement of Christ, the, uh, uh, the, the completeness, the uh, truly manhood of Christ or the humanity of Christ and the true uh, godliness of Christ. And we need to uh, understand the sufficiency and the authenticity of scriptures. And we also need to recognize that there is one church that is purchased by his precious blood. And that one day is going to come and everything is going to become new. So these are few of the basic essentials. Nobody can contradict this. Nobody is allowed to contradict this and yet call himself as a Christian. But there are certain other things. Foods we eat. Some people say we are allowed to eat uh, everything. Some people restrain them themselves to kosher foods. And uh, some people have various types of clothing. Some people are liberal in their clothing. Some people uh, have a certain pattern of worship. Some people are liberal, liberal in their worship. These are non-essentials. We can differ. These are disputable matters. That's what Apostle Paul says. They're disputable matters. But there are some matters that are tested, tried, and that have been totally indisputably settled forever like the canonicity of scripture, the sufficiency of Christ, and uh, uh, the, the universal church. There are certain things that have been established. And so when it comes to those things, there is no argument because it's been settled. But when it comes to these disputable matters, we need to be liberal enough because God has left certain things silent in his scripture to allow variety, to allow uh, liberty and to allow human creativity. So we need to understand the difference between both of these and uh, bow our head in obedience to the word of God. Our loving, living, gracious Heavenly Father, help us to understand the difference between essentials and non-essentials and know how to deal with people with 
weaker faiths. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you.